Literally, I just mm -mm, hate it. Moisturizer of the day is going to be this Good Girl by Carolina Herrera body cream. This is going to be my purse of the day. It's super cute. I love it. These are like in now, like these big bags. And I like that they're in. I don't know if I can pull these off with my chin. Sol de Janeiro came out with a new body spray. It is called After Hours. Jordan. Gold looks good on me, you can't lie. Stop playing, take my dang rings off right now, boy. <laughs> this is the first dining table I have ever purchased. And this is my mom's plate. I have noticed the biggest difference in my hair um, ever since I started to do this style every single night. I got some fabric softeners, I got Suavitel and Gain. And girl, this is what we looking like this morning. Gotta take the fake jewelry off. <laughs> Add the sauce on top and then do another layer. Amen. 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 Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever time you're watching this. What is up everyone and welcome back. I'm in the middle of getting ready and yes, I do have a towel on. And it kind of sucks because the footage that I've already been filming this morning, like getting ready, doing my skincare, doing my little eyebrow glue, all of the above. My camera just clonked out and the footage is gone and I spent a good amount of time trying to recover it and it just cannot be recovered. So we're starting all over again. I've already done all of this and more, but screw it, I literally just don't have time to be upset over something that I cannot control. So today I'm going for the clean girl look. It's been like my go-to. I don't know, everybody's clean girl look is different. Mine just consists of gluing down my eyebrows, slicking my hair down, I got a nice little moisturizer so my skin has like a little bit of a glow, and then going for like a clean girl outfit. Everything I'm saying is like what I would consider clean to me, like the clean girl look to me. So it's not that I'm like, trying to go for like a typical look. I'm just going for what I feel is cute on me. Okay, because you know, that's what you gotta do. Whatever fits you, whatever suits you, you gotta do it. So let's get back into getting ready, but you cannot be a clean girl unless you're clean. So of course I got in the shower, I scrub a dub dub. Today I cleaned up with my dove pink bar. If you know, you know that dove bar soap smell divine. And I always like, I literally, I go through like different phases of like what my favorite products are in the moment so like my favorite soap right now is dove bar soap just obsessed oh my gosh so i already got cleaned up i washed my face i moisturized my face i moisturized with my cerave daily moisturizing lotion and my black girl sunscreen and the little mermaid packaging because it just makes it that much better keeping it simple oops keeping it simple keeping it simple because i usually use my topical that my dermatologist customized and prescribed to me but it has azelaic acid which is exfoliating and as of lately it's been making my skin sensitive and i just don't want to keep pushing it if my skin already feels sensitive and then i mess up my moisture barrier and then i'm you know, going back to square one because I have screwed up my barrier so many times and I believe that it did contribute a lot to my acne. Not all of it, but some of it. Speaking about acne though, I used to feel like I couldn't look clean with acne, which was such a lie. The devil is such a liar. That's crazy. So I appreciated every single time somebody would like reach out to me and tell me like, girl, you have like the clean girl look. And I would be like, the Lord is using you because the devil keeps telling me that I cannot look clean with acne, which is such a freaking lie. The devil's so disgusting. Ugh. I glued down my eyebrows, and y'all know I always use this NYX The Brow Glue. It's pretty affordable. It's like eight bucks because it lasts so long, and I'll put this on my Amazon storefront. Amazon storefront is always linked down below, and then 
I don't even want to talk about it. Like, it's so annoying. So I also had to do a little bit of filling in to this eyebrow because there's like some chunks missing out of my eyebrow. And the reason being is because my hormones have been really going crazy the week before my menstrual cycle. Um, like the past five months, I've noticed that I've really been struggling the week before my menstrual cycle. I don't know what it's called. I've looked it up. I know they say PMS and PMDD. I know there's a difference don't really know what the difference is. I'm just going to refer to it as my PMS. Um, so it's been getting worse and worse and worse every single month. But this particular month, like the week before my menstrual cycle, was really bad. Like I literally, I don't even want to talk about it because I had such a rough week, you guys. Like I literally felt so depressed. I'm like, what is this feeling? I felt so depressed, so anxious, so stressed. My hormones were everywhere. I'm crying every 30 minutes. I'm angry. I don't want to talk. I'm blah, blah, blah. blah. It was, it was really tough, you guys. Um, and so I noticed that my eyebrow hair fell out during all that. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, this stuff is getting worse and worse and worse. And so I purposely went to Target yesterday to pick up these SOS PMS gummies. But I know they take so long to actually start working. But it's like a daily gummy to help you or to help balance your hormones. So I'm really hoping this helps. So I'm adding that to my daily routine. But I've also been adding for like the past four or five days, every single day, I'll go on a walk or a walk and jog, whatever I'm feeling that day. If it's just a walk, then I'll walk for like an hour. If it's like a walk and jog, I'll do that for like 45 minutes. But um, I want to see what will help me and help balance me out and like help me during these times because it's so crippling so i have been exercising every single day and let me tell you guys something i literally hate exercise you know what while i'm talking i might as well go ahead and hop straight into what am i gonna do first my hair or my body hair we can do hair for the clean girl look i'm just gonna do like a slip back twist you'll see um but i'm still struggling with brain fog so you guys are gonna have to work with me because i literally could be talking and then forget what the heck i'm saying mid-sentence so the brain fog, feeling so confused and fuzzy all the time is... Anyways, so I am not the kind of person that likes exercise. I've never been like an active person. Like all of my siblings did sports and were all very good at it. I just hated it and never got into it. I was more like a homebody, didn't like it. Anytime I've ever started to exercise and try to stay consistent, I just hate it so bad. I just never do. Literally, I just mm -mm, hate it. But as of lately, it's been one of the only things like with my um, PMS symptoms, keeping me sane. It has literally helped me so much. It's so relaxing. It's so therapeutic, you guys. I live in such a beautiful area, you guys. It is such a beautiful um, place to walk around. And I'm like, girl, walk around where you live. Exercise around where you live. Because I, I cannot stand going to gyms. Now, I know it's going to be like getting cold soon, so I'm going to have to suck it up. But like for now, I'm just going to like walk and jog around where I live. I have a beautiful trail near me. And I don't know, I'm just like feeling my hair right now. So that's why I didn't jump into doing it. Look how pretty and healthy my hair is. I could just go for like the wavy look. It looks really cute, but I know it'll end up getting frizzy. Look how long my hair is getting, you guys. I twist it into four twists every single night, and when I wake up, it's so beautiful. I'm working on it, y'all. No, but um, today I went on a jog and a walk, and I got like 4,200 steps in, so pretty decent. It gets my mind off of things. I'm helping myself out physically as well as mentally and emotionally, and I need to start eating healthier. That is what I really need to do. Let me go grab some gel and mousse because the mousse makes my twist look really good maybe i'll do a ponytail hold on let me go see i got my gel and i brought some mousse just in case because you ever like plan on doing a certain hairstyle but then mid hairstyle like this hairstyle looks cute so you just don't even go fully through with the hairstyle you were thinking of that might happen today so we'll see if i do like a ponytail or i do my twist but that's the update i don't really want to keep talking about it though because it's so annoying that it's even happening like the fact that my hormones are getting like that bad and yes i do know there are medications for you know what do you call it pms pmdd i'm not really sure i just don't really want to get into the medication you guys like I just don't want to take the chance my armpits are a little hairy oh well it's natural I just don't want to take the chance with trying a medication and it makes me feel weird and it makes me feel drowsy and it makes me feel like drugged you know what I mean like I don't want to feel like that I just don't like I want to feel normal um so that's why I'm trying like the natural things more water exercise I'm trying out these PMS gummies yeah we'll see what else I find that helps me I'm gonna try my hardest to be as consistent as I can with like the at-home remedies and yeah which girl I ain't got no choice because how I felt last week girl I will do whatever the heck it takes I ain't got time okay 
So, yep, I got my butt up this morning, went on my nice little jog and walk. And then I got home and I um, made some eggs. So that's what I've eaten today and that's what I've done today. I've also, I also spent tons of time trying to recover that footage. So it was a waste of time, but at least I tried. So here I am like a half hour, 45 minutes later after trying to recover it. But like I was saying, for my clean girl look today, I'm gonna do the slick back a slick back style and my go-to every single day has been slicking it back like this and then twisting this ponytail and it looks really cute and it stretches my hair to where it looks like really long so i like that then we're gonna go ahead and get our smell goods on get dressed more smell goods and then we can head out of the door and i am so excited you guys because listen big b has these new um mocktails like Red Bull mocktails and I haven't tried the strawberry one. I would have went for the strawberry one first But when I looked at like the ingredients in like the strawberry mocktail like what they use girl They said vanilla. I'm like vanilla in a strawberry lemonade mocktail girl get the heck out of here But the but the raspberry one when I read the ingredients because you know how um, Big B has like all the ingredients underneath the actual drink It said just raspberry Red Bull lemonade and I believe that's it. So I was like, let me try that one out. When I tell you guys I'm addicted, I'm addicted to this new Big B Raspberry Mocktail. It is so freaking good. And it has a Rebel in it, so it also has caffeine. And if you guys didn't watch um, my couples vlog that I made with Jordan, then you don't know that like energy drinks starts to make me feel sick. It's like a tongue twister for me. Energy drinks, energy drinks, energy drinks. But they started to make me feel sick. Um, and the only ones that don't make me feel sick are Red Bulls. So it's perfect because it's a Red Bull in the mocktail and it tastes so yummy. Literally obsessed. Y'all know I love my Starbucks, but this new mocktail that Big B has, I'm sorry, it's like topping all drinks for me right now. And I'm like a drink person. Like I love milk tea. I found a new favorite milk tea shop. I love milk tea. I love um, refreshers. I love Big B Blast. Now I love their mocktails. And I also love a good energy drink, even though I can't drink them no more like that because they make me feel sick. Ooh, girl, I love me a good lemonade. Like I'm a drink girl. Like I, I just love drinks. They put me in like this amazing mood, like this super happy, Mood? I don't know. It's something about. Ugh, I took out too much hair. No. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Looks like we're going for more hair on the sides today. Still feeling a little tired, but girl, who cares? Um, we're gonna have fun today. Whatever the heck we do. Even though I'll mainly be in the house because I just I love being in the house, you guys. I'm a homebody. I've always been like that. But back to what I was saying. I just I love good drinks. I love a good slushy. Ooh, girl. Yes. Okay. So this ponytail is cute. So I'm like, should I keep it? Or not. I'm just gonna go with the twist. That's gonna be, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm using this Herbal Essences Mousse. When I do my twist, I always put this through because it makes it like wet kind of and I'm able to stretch it better. But I'm deciding just to do the twist only because um, I know it won't get frizzy throughout the day and it'll be consistent all day. Like it'll look the same all day. But the more I do my hair, it seems like the more my hair progresses. So I just, I do it every single day. And it's not perfect. It's pretty frizzy in the back, but it is what it is. It's cute. All right. I don't know why this has been like my go-to style every single day. It just works. It really just works. And it stays like this all day. And it stretches my hair to where you can see like the length of it. So I have like no shrinkage. See? And it stays like that all day. But yeah, my ponytail definitely has gotten longer. Now that my hair is all done, we're gonna move on to like body hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and lotion up, then get dressed. I already have a super cute outfit picked up, picked out. Well, I hope it's cute. You know, like when you pick out an outfit and you're like, this is gonna be so cute. And then you actually put it on <clears throat> and it's not as cute. <laughs> I'm hoping it's not one of those days. Like seriously, I cannot stand when that happens. Moisturizer of the day is going to be this Good Girl by Carolina Herrera Body Cream. If you know, you know just how good the fragrance Good Girl smells and this is the body cream. Oh girl. 
girl. I love perfumed like body creams, like the body creams that match the perfumes. Even though this is the catch. Uh oh, is my twist looking weird? It is. Even though the twist is I'm not going to be using the Carolina Herrera, the good girl Carolina Herrera um, perfume. I'm actually gonna be wearing a whole different perfume. Y'all know I'm really good at layering scents. So I just bring a bunch of different fragrances together that I just know will go so pretty together and they work out and I smell amazing all day. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you something as well. Another thing that I've been having to do during this time to make myself feel better, I've been smelling extra good because smelling good really makes me feel so amazing. Also cleaning, like having a very clean environment and a clean space. Yesterday I spent, <clears throat> yesterday I spent four hours cleaning. Okay, I added like a half hour onto that, but I spent three and a half hours cleaning you guys and I cleaned my butt off. Only on like the downstairs level, not up here or anything, but it made me feel so good. So do things for yourself. If you're in a harder or tougher situation right now you're just not feeling the best do things for yourself that makes you feel good whether it's some self-care getting yourself all smelling good clean it up so you can have a nice relaxing peaceful clean area exercise i don't care what it is as long as it doesn't go against the lord do what you have to do to make yourself feel okay and good but i'm gonna go ahead and of course moisturize off of camera but before i go ahead and do that let me share with you guys the outfit that i want to wear today so i have like a couple new pieces that i'm gonna go ahead and show you hold on Okay, so the base of my outfit I already have, like this is already in my, my clothing collection. So I'm going to wear this white like beater tank top. Now this outfit is a little bit toxic because it is really hot outside and there's a jacket involved. I do that. Like I literally, for some reason, like as of lately, I just have not been comfortable going out in like tank tops or whatever the heck. So I always throw a jacket over it. I don't know. So that little beater tank top and then these Levi jeans. These are my favorite pair of jeans in my entire jean collection. I love these jeans. I got these a couple years back at Marshalls and they are Levi's you guys and these are the cutest Levi's I have ever had. I need to go back. These are the rib cage straight Levi's. I need to go back and get some or not go back. I need to go to the Levi shop or online or something and find some cute Levi jeans like these ones because they're so cute. They flare at the bottom and they fit my waist and my thighs so well. You guys, if I had one fashion tip to give you, it would be wear clothes that fit your body shape well. Wear clothes that make you feel confident. I need to redo these pieces. These are looking a little crazy. Whatever fits your body shape well, we all have different body shapes. I know what I will look nice in and what I will feel confident in. So I only buy those clothes. Like for an example, I will look weird if I wear a jacket that doesn't somewhat cinch at the bottom, that doesn't somewhat come in at the bottom. If it's just like big, I, I look weird. That's just like one example though. So like these clothes fit my body so well. So that is one fashion tip I would give you. Wear clothes that fit you well, what you like to wear, what you feel confident in. I don't care if you just love pajamas. I don't care if you want to wear sweatpants every single day. Girl, I don't care. Whatever you, you feel confident and comfortable in and beautiful in, that is what you need to be wearing. So that's the base, the Levi pants and the tank top. And then I just bought this jacket yesterday. It's like an oversized jacket. I bought it at Target. You know what? This is gonna sound so weird, but I'm actually so happy that the Targets near me don't have too much cute stuff. Oh my gosh, I kind of screwed this hairstyle up. It really needs to be brushed better. No, but um, these Targets, like where I live now, as opposed to where I used to live, they have not that many cute things. But I'm happy about it because it's saving me money because at this point, I haven't been seeing anything cute and so I just, I don't, I haven't been buying any clothes. Whereas the old Targets where I used to live had so much cute stuff, I couldn't go into the store without buying three outfits like at this point. So this oversized jacket, you know, it's getting like fall vibes. Oh my gosh. I'm super excited for fall, you guys. I've been doing like the fall ambiance and jazz on my TV every single day. It makes me feel so good. And then this, this is really different. So I usually go for a certain kind of bag, but this bag was too cute. I was like, you know what? It's gonna go so cute with that jacket. So I picked up this. This is gonna be my purse of the day. It's super cute. I love it. These are like in now, like these big bags. And I like that they're in. This was 16 bucks and the jacket was 30. So mm, you guys are probably like, I thought you said they had no cute stuff. They compared to the other ones, they ain't got nothing. This is the only cute stuff I was able to find. Now listen, these sunglasses, I don't know if I can pull these off with my chin. They're cute. Mm -hmm. Girl, that was ugly. But I wanna go ahead and wear these with the outfit. So, okay, sunglasses. Got these sunglasses, they were 17. Y'all gonna have to chill with these prices, Target. $17, oh, oh, you got me itching. And then, I'm not gonna wear this hat though. I don't think I'm gonna be able to wear the hat because like, 
this is giving clean girl like my slick back style but i thought this hat was so cute that on the days that i don't have like my hair slick back i want to wear this hat with that jacket and that bag because look how freaking cute this hat is i'm into the hats you guys but they have to fit my head well and they have to i always have to bend them like this because they have to have a nice curve like they have to be baseball baseball and so this was 15 dollars. um and then last but not least i have a couple of these rings that i bought at Target this whole entire pack was $12 it says they're all in the size 7 which is kind of dumb because I wish they would do like a bunch of different sizes so I could fit them on different like hands so we'll see what I can do I mean different <laughs> fingers so we'll see what I can do with these rings but I thought these rings were super cute I'm into rings right now like super obsessed or I have been for the last couple years but like I'm into like weird ones so I got this pack of like weird ring weird rings have not tried the outfit on yet but I'm hoping it'll come together and look cute so let me go lotion up my body off camera and I'll be back with the outfit and then we'll get the rest of our smell goods on um um, it's definitely not as cute as I was hoping. This dang jacket, I think the bag's maybe a little bit too big for this outfit, but this dang jacket, you guys, was so big. It just came all the way down here and it fit really weird. So I tied it in the back and I swooped it underneath and then I it makes it look a little bit better in the front. So I've got that going. And then where are the glasses? I think it's cute though. Let me ask Jordan. Hold on. Jordan, can you look at this outfit and see if it's cute? I know it's too hot for it, but hey, I'm not going to be outside. That is cute. It's cute. You got that. Yeah, you got that top yesterday. I knew that top was going to look good on you too. This jacket? I like that color. Yeah. No, jacket. it's actually terrible. So I it's like, like it. I like it. The way it fits is so bad. I had to tweak it. What? So it came down here and it was like really bad. So I had to tie it in the back and I had to like flip it like look. Oh. And I okay. flipped it underneath to make That's it smart. fit a little bit better. But I'm like, should I wear this bag, it's, just, it's cute. Mm -hmm. I wish it was cold outside, honestly. Or should I wear this bag? I like the other one with that outfit. They're two different vibes, mm -hmm. come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. You like this one? Yeah. First of all, I'm gonna look like a fool out here in this big old jacket. It's 70 out right now. Oh! I might have to switch it up. I might have to save this outfit for another day because I'm mm -hmm. already hot. Oh, uh, yeah, probably. Jordan. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and just wear the tank top and the pants. And then I put on some jewelry. So these are what the rings are looking like, you guys. These are the ones that I just showed you guys I bought from Target. Aren't they so cute? I just got done applying my soft powder Lumi deodorant. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start applying fragrance. Sol de Janeiro came out with a new body spray. It is called After Hours. It is limited edition. So y'all know your girl had to go ahead and scoop this up. I've used a good amount of it. But I'm gonna go ahead and wear this body spray today as well as a dossier fragrance let me tell y'all something all of this time i have been wearing dossier fragrances and i've been calling it dossier that's so embarrassing please let's not even talk about it that is just really sad and if you want to know what this smells like you guys it is very different than so de janeiro's like usual fragrance they go for they usually go for like summer beach vibes this one, the notes are Midnight Jasmine, Black Currant, and Amber Woods. And so that is going to mix so beautiful with a new Dossier fragrance I have. Now this video is a collab with Dossier. I have so many more fragrances I want to go ahead and share with you guys when I get back home. New um, amazing smelling fragrances I'm going to go ahead and add to my collection today. So if you do not know what Dossier is, Dossier is a fragrance company that sells dupes of super expensive perfumes. But their dupes ain't going to let you down. They don't cut corners, okay? Like they smell exactly like the fragrance and they last. It is now possible to smell bougie for real for real on a budget. All of their fragrances are like around 30 bucks whereas the name brand would be like a hundred. I'm usually able to compare the fragrance that I already have to the dupe that Dossier has but I do not have this Paco Rabanne Lady Million. So I can't say too much in that area but all I know is this fragrance is so woman-like and beautiful. I'm telling you guys you know what's crazy is I've really been wanting the Lady Million perfume. I just haven't purchased it because it's nowhere near me to actually smell. And it's too expensive to be just blind buying it. So I got the dossier and I'm sure this smells exactly like Lady Million. I think my mom's home. It is called Woody Raspberry. It is such a beautiful fragrance. These are the fragrance notes. 
that's the vibe that's the vibe okay so if you can tell by the notes these mix together so beautiful so i'm gonna go ahead and spray my fragrance girl that's gay beginning this is the right i'm not playing i'm not playing oops so yeah we smell like lady million today or woody raspberry all right let me show y'all what i'm looking like i love these rings y'all i'm sorry they are so cute real or not they are beautiful. $12, girl, and I'm looking like a million bucks. And if y'all can't see, or I know you guys cannot see, these jeans flare at the bottom. I'm on my tippy toes. I'm trying to show you guys. They flare at the bottom, and they are so cute. Girl, your balance is terrible. Now let's figure out what shoes I'm going to wear, which I'm pretty sure is going to be Skechers, but I don't know. Girl, I am too much for getting cute like this just to go nowhere. Literally, all I did was get some big v and now i'm sitting in a car waiting for jordan to get out of the grocery store because he's getting all the ingredients for tonight's meal yeah girl literally got ready for nothing i was gonna like film a little bit more on the road and stuff like that when i was going to get my big b drink and um talk about my shoes some more but then when we got on the road my life flashed before my eyes we almost got into two car accidents and it was very scary and i was so shaken up Golly, boy, I thought I was gonna have to pull out the gloves. It was so scary and I was so shaken up. So I was like, oh my gosh, I can't even talk right now. Like literally, we just sat in silence for so long. <laughs> That's crazy, I got all cute for nothing. But it didn't make me feel better though. You got all cute because you all cute. He was already all cute actually. That was random. No, but these are the shoes that I decided to go ahead and wear because I was talking about shoes. I believe the last time I was talking to you guys, my cute little sketchers and my cute little purple flowers. All right, girl, I am home and I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking. So I gotta take off all these rings because girl, they're not real. And I gotta wash my hands and I don't wanna roll my rings. I'm sad I gotta take my rings off. I feel so cute in them. <laughs> Peep the new dining table, y'all. Look how beautiful. Oh, y'all can't even let me see it. I'll show you in a minute, it's so cute. So, what is on the menu tonight? Pork chops, I'm gonna make like a quick and easy mac and cheese. So my baked macaroni and cheese is so good, but I, I ain't got time for all of that. So I'm gonna try to make like a simpler version of it, like different noodles, no baking. It's not the same, let's just say it's like a different version of mac and cheese. And then if I still feel like it, I'm gonna make some monkey bread. Where's the pork chop? It's up top. Where's the pork chop, the cheese, and the noodles? Oh, Thank you. Oh, y'all. This is what I decided to go ahead and wear. Some super cute Nike sweatpants. <laughs> they so are cute. So I still look cute. So for the pork chops, the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do with the pork chops is tenderize them because they are so much better that way. So I gotta find a little tenderizer hammer. You know what? This will probably have to be like a two day vlog because it's getting so late. I just got some cheap packets of um, pork chops because the grocery store near me always has really good deals on their pork chops. They always have like $5 packs and it's very affordable. So girl, we making some pork chops tonight. Okay. And I always just tenderize them first with like a little tenderizer hammer. No, you did not buy whole grain noodles. They do it. Who they said that? I really hope they taste okay. Whole grain? They should, shouldn't they? Whole grain macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I'm gonna beat him up, you guys. Excellent source of fiber mac and cheese. There we go. Can you grab me a um, glass bowl? So I rinse off my pork chops after I tenderize them because when they're wet and you try to tenderize them, it's a mess, water gets everywhere. So I'm gonna tenderize these last two chops. In total, how many are there, 12? Yeah. 12 pork chops. And we will have leftovers, which is great because he loves leftovers. And I'm gonna show y'all how I season my pork chops. I haven't made pork chops in so long and I'm not frying them, I'm just air frying them.
Remember I used to make uh, air fried pork chops all the time? Yeah, all the time. They was good. Mm -hmm. It's because they were cheap. They always be having like deals on pork chops. They were really good. Honestly, I don't have like a set recipe to be honest. I just use like different stuff every single time. Um, I don't have any Worcester sauce, but I do usually use that. Let me go see what I have in the fridge because I know I'm going to season them with like some mustard. I actually do have some Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to season it with some mustard, a little bit of Valentina. Mm, this is so good and chili, you guys. I make bomb chili with Valentina hot sauce. It is so good. And these are going to be my choice seasoning. So I'm going to use some black pepper, some Southwest Chipotle Focus. This is so good, you guys. It's so flavorful. Onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and accent. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Paprika for color. Yes, ma'am. Southwest Chipotle. I don't know why I'm sitting up saying all the names. Like, I didn't just tell them what I was doing. <laughs> Now we're gonna add all the sauces. And that's gonna make sure that seasoning also gets thoroughly through. Cause seasonings be a little dry, so they don't really distribute too well. Let's mix it around. All right, y'all, so I got the seasoning all throughout the pork chop. They are all covered. I'm gonna go ahead and start adding these suckers to the air fryer. And personally, I like crispy meat, so I'm gonna try to get them crispy. Mmm, they smell so good already. I always lay down some aluminum foil, I spray a little bit of, uh, that's avocado oil. I'm using my brother's avocado oil because somebody used up all my, um, olive oil spray and I think it was him so I'm going to use his stuff right back and I'm just going to go ahead and lay down as many as I can it's looking like I'll only be able to lay down three at a time which is perfect because I need the time to make the macaroni actually hold on I can fit four but that's still perfect because I need time to make the macaroni and the cheese sauce and I'm going to cook those I'm not going to preheat I'm gonna cook those at 400, and then I'm gonna just I'm just gonna keep checking on them. I'm gonna start, and then once that's up, I'm gonna come see what they're looking like. All right, girl, I got this pot on the stove with some water in it. I'm gonna bring that to a boil. But while I'm trying to get that to a boil, I'm gonna start working on the cheese sauce. So I make my own cheese sauce for the macaroni. Um, anytime I'm baking macaroni, anything of the sort, I never use like Velveeta or anything else. I just make my own cheese sauce. Now this is gonna be like a quick version of my amazing famous macaroni and cheese, but it's still gonna be good. It's simple, but it's still gonna be good. I should have got some bacon bits, but it's gonna be what it's gonna be, okay? All right, so I'm gonna add some butter and start melting that. You know what? I want some more butter than that. Boy, take my dang rings off. What the heck? Oh. <laughs> Jordan. Gold looks good on me, you can't lie. Stop playing. Take my dang rings off right now, boy. Little extra, little extra. Ain't gonna hurt nobody. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my heavy whipping cream. I can't wait for Thanksgiving. I make the smoked uh, green beans the night before because the flavor is so much better the next day. And then I make the mac and cheese the day of. I'm gonna add the rest of it, might as well. All right, let me get that all warm. And then we're gonna start adding the cheese. Let me add the penne, the freaking whole grain penne. The freak, Jordan. And why'd you get the name brand? You could have just got the off brand. Boy, ain't no need to be buying name brand noodles. I'm just gonna put it all in there. That's way too much. I don't even know why I just put all of that in there. You know what? Since I put all of that in there, I'm gonna add some milk to the sauce. 
because I don't have enough heavy cream to cover all those noodles. cream and the milk and butter that mixture it is all warm so now I'm gonna go ahead and start adding cheese my cheese of choice is sharp cheddar and Monterey Jack so girl I'm gonna slowly add the cheese in so that it melts real nice you know what I forgot Jordan cream cheese yeah I usually put cream cheese in there golly I'll do some sour cream see how that tastes Dang it, how did I forget the freaking cream cheese? The penne noodles have about five more minutes. It's looking like it's gonna be the pork chops that hold us up. Because I'm still on that first load, on the first batch, I mean. <laughs> the mac and cheese is going by fast. For Thanksgiving, I'm gonna make mac and cheese, the smoked green beans, mashed potatoes, and probably deviled eggs. But I have to make a lot more than I did last year because last year, when I tell y'all, the green beans and the mac and cheese went by in like two minutes. Yeah, this year I gotta make tons. Two batches of macaroni and cheese, two batches of smoked green beans. It's already starting to thicken up. Ooh, girl. I'm gonna add my Monterey Jack. You know what? I still might have to add more milk. I just kind of go with the flow as I'm cooking. Am I the only one? Like, I don't have like a set recipe. I just kind of like go with the flow, whatever I feel it needs, and I just go with that. And then when I get done melting all my cheese in there, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding all my seasoning. They looking pretty good. I just wish they would get more crispy, but I don't want to like risk putting them in there for too long to where they're dry. Come on, pork chops, get crispy. Hi, snuggle bug. Hi, snuggle bug. How are you? Look at my girls. I got my girls groomed. They're looking good. If you guys notice, I get them groomed a lot shorter than I used to just because they are doodles. They're both mixed with a poodle and so they get matted pretty fast. Not really Essence, but she gets matted really fast and it makes it tougher on her and tougher on me. So I just get them groomed really low and they have zero matting. They have, they never have any tangle issues anymore. So that would be my tip of the day for dogs is get them groomed really low. It makes it easier on you and your puppies. Hi baby. Look how beautiful they are. This girl's growing like crazy. She's at her full size, but she's not. She's still a little puppy. Look how beautiful she lays. Look how pretty her is. And my gorgeous girl. All right, baby. All right, baby, give me one second. Oh, that sauce is looking good. All it needs now is some seasoning. I'm still gonna add a little bit more milk, like I said. Though. We don't want no dry mac and cheese now. I gotta go ahead and take these noodles out too. Not yet. One more minute. Now we can start seasoning the sauce. My key ingredient is onion powder, y'all. Onion powder makes the dang mac and cheese so good, you guys. I'm not playing. Not garlic powder. I do add a tiny bit of garlic powder, but it's the onion powder that gets it off its feet. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of garlic powder. It doesn't really need much of that. I'm going to add some accent. I'm gonna add some Slap Your Mama Cajun seasoning. Oops, I think those noodles are done. Let me taste it and make sure. Gotta make sure, cause girl, I don't want no rough noodles. It still don't seem all the way there. Let me do one more minute. And I'm just gonna taste it as I go. Cause I like flavor my macaroni okay so I'm gonna continue to taste this sauce see how I like it if I have to add more sharp cheddar I love that sharp taste let me taste it mm, it needs more sharp cheddar all right noodles I hope you are ready it needs more Sharp cheddar, accent, onion powder, and salt. Let that do its thing. 
taste the noodles and then go take these pork chops out and add some more pork chops. All right, I think that's good. Let me get a strainer. They're looking pretty good, y'all. That's about good. I don't want to dry them out, so I'm going to stop. They smell so good. I added a lot more sharp cheddar because I love that sharp taste. It just really gives it the mac and cheese flavor. I added more onion powder, salt, and accent. Like I told you guys, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and add some more Slappy Mama, too. I don't know who the heck came up with that. Slappy Mama, what in the world? What in the corner? I'm just playing. Like I said, I'm going to add some sour cream. I've never done that before, but I'm going to do it today. Well, I have. The first time I ever made mac and cheese, I did, but you get what I'm saying, then. It's gonna be good. Don't be judging, Jordan. I'm judging a little bit. That silence is making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So at this point, I've added two bags of sharp cheddar. And like a half a bag of Monterey Jack. Cheese on cheese on cheese. It's got to be cheesy. I'm going to add some of the noodles back into the pot. But not all of them because I'm not sure if that sauce is going to cover all the noodles. So I'm going to do about that much. And if I still have enough, then I'll add the rest of the noodles. I'm a random cooker, you guys. I'm not like too professional or organized when I cook. So don't see just right there. <laughs> so don't mind me. I'm kind of all over the place. But girl, my food is good. Ooh, that's good. When I go to make the um, mac and cheese this year, I'm going to add smoked Gouda. The smoky flavor. Ooh, girl. One time I made uh, chicken Alfredo, and in the Alfredo, I added Parmesan and smoked Gouda. And when I tell y'all, it was so delicious. I'm mad at you for getting this dang whole grain junk. It tastes weird. It's going to be good. It tastes weird. That's a lot. It does. It tastes whole grain. It's all in your mind, babe. Jordan. While we are waiting for the food, I might as well go ahead and show you guys my new dining table. This is the first dining table I have ever purchased. And I am so excited to finally have a dining table in here, you guys. It is my vibe. It is so pretty. I am literally obsessed. What a cute dining table. Love it. chlorophyll your girl is almost out but i got these super cute little cups off of amazon are these not the cutest most aesthetic cups you've ever seen i'll go ahead and add those to my amazon storefront for some reason i love the taste of chlorophyll like if it's cold it's actually super refreshing to me it tastes so fresh. I know some people hate it, but it's like something I actually enjoy. You guys are finally seeing me sit at a dining table. Y'all know at my old apartment, I was there for two years, never had a dining table. Food's getting ready to be done. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my mama a plate. I'm gonna go ahead and eat, and we'll see if I feel like making monkey bread. Because you know when you get done eating, and it's like later on in the day, 
you feel more tired than you did before you start eating. This is what I'm talking about. I love crispy meat. Really? And this is my mom's plate. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this plate to her. I put some parsley on top of the mac and cheese because it looks cute that way. But girl, isn't this plate so cute? It's got all that steam coming out of it. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, this looks real good. I'm gonna have to knock out this mac and cheese before I even get to the pork chops. All the rest of the knives are in the dishwasher right now, so I'm sorry really? about that. Yeah. No, it's good. Oh, girl. Mmm. Hold on. That pork chop goes crazy. You feel me? Oh, that flavor is good. That's probably the best pork chop I've ever made. That sauce, like all those sauces came together very well. I love it. Mm, mm, mm. Well, I definitely don't feel like making no monkey bread. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. At least we have the ingredients, so I'm definitely gonna make it. For real though, I kinda figured. Don't do that. I figured. You figured. I know you. First of all, I made you a meal, so be happy about that. Oh, trust me, I am. Don't That's why me. I'm banging it down. Mm-hmm. All I need to do is put some pajamas on, do my nighttime hair care, and I'm taking my little happy butt to bed. Let me show you guys how I do my hair every single night just to maintain my moisture and just to make it easier on me in the morning. It keeps my hair detangled and super moisturized. Now that was a real fight. She definitely took something from Lockett because it gets loud like that when Lockett has something and she doesn't want to share it. And then Essence tries to take it she'll go crazy but let me go ahead and show you guys what i do every single night to my hair and yes i do this every single night i just threw on like a black dress it's a dress but i'm gonna use it as a gown for tonight okay so first things first i go ahead and massage my scalp and it helps to like uplift that gel that i used but i usually put a lot more gel on the sides of my hair so i'm gonna go ahead and use like a leave-in conditioner or a detangler to soften up the gel All right, so I always part it in four. The parts are never perfect. I don't really care to have them perfect. It's not like it's a style or anything. It's just a nighttime thing I do. And I've been washing my hair like every three to four days. So I've been doing this for the past maybe three nights. So I have to go ahead and like wash it tomorrow. So I use some kind of cream every single night. Right now I am using the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey in Mafura Oil. It's an intensive hydration leave-in milk. It's very moisturizing. I put this in last night. If you guys were wondering, you guys seen how beautiful my hair looked when I took it out of the twist. This stuff is just so thick. It looked so beautiful when I took it out of the twist, as you guys seen. So this is actually a hairstyle I would definitely suggest to a lot of my girls out there. It keeps it super moisturized, like I said, detangled, and it also stretches my hair so I can really see the length of my hair. Because girl, shrinkage annoys me. Now don't get me wrong, of course I'm still gonna wear my curly styles and certain styles that have shrinkage, but for right now, this has just been super easy for me because I also have been doing like slick styles every day and it makes it super easy as well because it's already detangled and moisturized. So it looks really nice. Brush it through. And then I use my soft brush and brush it through just to go ahead and flatten it look at that hair y'all it's growing girl i am very happy about it and then i just start twisting it and i do that to every single section and i actually really enjoy doing this every single night because I just feel like I'm working towards my goal or I am working towards my hair goal of getting it super long. And this is definitely gonna help with my hair growth journey or it is helping with my hair growth journey. I have noticed the biggest difference in my hair um, ever since I started to do this style every single night. My hair is just so much more moisturized and it looks so much better. I'll go ahead and finish off the vlog tomorrow. Just because I started the vlog pretty late today I'm not going to be able to finish everything that I wanted to go ahead and finish because I have some things I want to go ahead and show you guys that I bought for the house, like smell goods for the house. Because girl, if there's a couple things in life that make me feel so good, first things first, the word of God, the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. Second, a clean, good smelling home. Like when your house is clean and it smells good, 
so satisfying and smelling good my dang so having a clean good smelling body so i like to keep up on my home cleaning products and smell goods so i have some new household products to go ahead and share with you guys and like i told you guys i have new dossier fragrances to add to my collection which is so exciting mm -hmm. i love dossier y'all they are the real ogs okay making it possible for a sister and you know another thing that's super cool about dossier is it makes it possible to be able to build like a luxury perfume collection because building a perfume collection is just so expensive so if you want to have like variety i would definitely suggest dossier and then once i'm done styling my hair i always put it up in a bonnet and it makes sure that when i wake up in the morning it's not all frizzy because girl i ain't trying to wake up with all that frizzy hair when i wake up i just take it off and then style my hair i remember and i know y'all remember too when i just was not doing my hair I just thought like the like braggity style was cute. I don't even know how to explain it, but I just like gave up on like taking care of my hair for a very long time. I'm like, girl, you didn't damage your hair and now you're not gonna do it. Like what is going on? And I used to look crazy, girl. I thought I looked cute and I look back and I was like, girl, that was not cute. Um, come on, let's look it up into a bun, let's look it back into a ponytail, do some twists, do some. And my hair was so dry and damaged and I'm just walking around with this big puff ball on my dang head. Like, girl, what the heck were you doing? But now, you know what? I'm taking care of myself again. I don't know what the heck was going on. But girl, I'm taking care of my hair and we're going to keep on pushing. And I am going to get to my hair goal. Okay, and I cannot wait. I think in about a year from now, I will hit my hair goal. Because I was looking back on some pictures and it was like a little collage I had made. And it said one year later. And my hair was probably about this length and then the next year it was like way down here oops like way down here straightened they were both like straightened pictures um but yeah so i believe in one year i will have the hair that i want and for some reason like time has been flying i feel like i don't know i just feel like time just flies so much faster nowadays I'm like girl that was six months ago already girl how girl i can't be the only one I'm like, I don't remember it being that long ago. And this is a super easy style to just wake up and put a hat over it. That also works. I've done that many, many times. Um, but in the morning time, when I'm going for like my walks and my jogs and stuff like that. Those dogs are so annoying. Ooh, these need some extra love. They a little extra dry. In the morning time, when I go on like my walks or my jogs, I just pull them all back into a ponytail and they're cute. And we are done. Like I said, I do this every single night, y'all. I'm going to reap what I'm sewing to my hair. All right, you guys. I'm going to go ahead, put my bonnet on, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Did you see Brent's new car? He parked his car right next to mine's. Y'all, Brent has a new car and it's way nicer than mine's. That car is so nice. It is clean, Yo what kind of car it's the same year as mine with way less miles my mom said like that's like a brand new car that is a brand new car mine looks like trash compared to his oh i'm filming brand's car so nice oh my gosh he's flexing on me i'm just getting my coffee all together y'all and then i'm gonna go ahead and start getting this kitchen all straightened up because girl i can't do a nasty kitchen can't do it it's really not dirty for real at all realistically i just have like some dishes to do Mm, that's good. Jordan makes my coffee at nighttime, puts it in the fridge, and then I just use this creme brulee silk almond creamer. It's so good. I prefer the caramel though, but they've been all sold out of my caramel creamer, so I've been having to use the creme brulee. I didn't clean up last night, so of course I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this morning. But as you guys can see, it's not even bad. It's just the dishes, and I need to clean out the air fryer and put the air fryer away. So girl, let's get to straightening up, and then I'm gonna start getting ready for my walk.
And everything is all clean. Don't mind this. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this out and wash this. It was just some water we had in there. But the kitchen is all clean. It's all fresh. I don't need to do anything to the floors because the other day, the day before yesterday, I mopped all the floors. I also deep cleaned this entire area, you guys. I wiped down every single cabinet. I took all of these off, scrubbed everything down, the inside of the microwave, the top of the fridge, just like everything, you guys. And over here, Brand just has like tons of fruit and stuff like that so don't mind that everything is all clean and wiped down since we're talking about the house being clean i'm about to go grab all these bags of um home care products i have might as well call it home care if we call it self-care might as well call it home care i got some plug-ins and some cleaners and some laundry stuff first things first i had bought three of these glade automatic sprayers so i have one right here and then i have one right there don't mind this little area right here you guys i'm gonna go ahead and take my tripod upstairs that lamp will be gone and then the mop goes in the closet i got some fabric softeners i got suavitel and gain i'm gonna go ahead and mix these two together and see how they smell together because girl i want to experiment with like mixing certain fabric softeners so I can get like a customized scent for my laundry so I got some fabric softener you guys know I make my own detergent but since all of our comforters are so big the powder just does not work too well it just gets stuck in like random areas and it doesn't get washed off so I went ahead and got one thing of detergent this is like a knockoff gain one but this should last us for a long time because it should only be used for comforters and then I got two purple pine saws because my mom put me onto these, y'all. If you put these in your laundry, your laundry will smell so good. So we use this in our laundry. My favorite thing to use these on are my towels. I love my towels to smell so good. When I get out of the shower, oh my gosh. When I get out of the shower, I love a good smelling towel. So I got two things of pine saw. I got some gain cleaner, you guys. This stuff smells so good good i love mopping and cleaning stuff with this i got some toilet wand refills for my toilet brush i got some car smell goods but you know what since my brother has a new car i'm gonna go ahead and let him have these so his car can smell good because he goes to the gym and stuff like that and anybody trying to have no second car so i'm gonna go ahead and actually give these to him for his first car and then i went ahead and bought a bunch of wax melts i bought four of these and two of these but i gave one of each to my mom so i got the that's the sprayers y'all so i got the april fresh downy plugins or wax melts and then i got 
a bunch of these unstoppable fresh wax melts i can only find these at family dollar so when i went into town the other day to get the dogs groomed i had to go to family dollar and get my wax melts okay girl over here i have tons of my favorite plugins i have these in my room in my bathroom all throughout the house in the guest bath everywhere these are the strongest plugins i have found so far and they last you guys they get rid of any odor i'm not playing if you have dogs kids if you cook a lot and your house may be a little smelly get these so i got two three packs and actually i got three two packs but i've already been through two packs so i got a bunch of gain plugins because girl we don't play about the plugins up in here okay and that is it and this is the overview of everything my mom also went to the store the other day and got a bunch of paper towel and a bunch of tissue so we are all good on our home care products y'all all right i'm gonna go ahead and start heading out i gotta get my apple watch on y'all i haven't worn my apple watch in so long yesterday was like the first day in months some deodorant clinique happy is such a refreshing pretty citrus kind of fragrance and dossier came out with their version of clinique happy and girl when i tell you it smells just like clinique happy and y'all know i have clinique happy y'all this is my second bottle and this when i tell y'all it smells just like it i don't want to put on too much because the bees and stuff but this is an everyday fragrance. Oh my gosh. This is called Fruity Orange by Dossier, but it is literally the same exact thing as Clinique Happy. Girl. And like I said yesterday, I have some new fragrances. I'm going to go ahead and add to my collection. I've already shared with you guys two of them, but I have so many more and I'm super excited to add those to my collection. I'm going to go ahead and get my diffuser going. So when I come back home, my room smells amazing, even though it already does from those game plugins, but I have like a new little trick and my room has never smelled better. Let me tell y'all. So you know how essential oils, when you put them in the diffuser with the water, the oils just kind of like sit on top. And after a while, once they're all diffused, there's like no fragrance coming from the diffuser. So this is my new trick. Instead of essential oil, I've been using this cheap little body spray and I love it because you can screw the cap off. But the difference between using this and the essential oils, this actually mixes thoroughly in the water. You know oil and water don't mix. So the essential oil just sits on top. Once it's gone, it's done. But this goes all day because it actually mixes in with the water. Let me show you. See? And when I tell y'all, it makes my room smell so good. So I'm going to start using my cheap little body sprays that I don't usually reach for if it'll focus. If it'll focus. I'm going to start using my cheap little body sprays that I don't usually reach for in my diffuser, y'all. Because my room be smelling so good with this dang body spray. And girl, by the time I get home, my room is going to smell divine. Okay. I just threw on the sweatpants I had on yesterday. I threw on this cute little v-neck and the hat that I just bought. And girl, this is what we looking like this morning. Mm-hmm. I love these kind of hats, you guys. I mean, my ears look a little big. But when I tuck them in, it looks even weirder. I don't know. Let me see. I don't know. I'm just going to leave my ears out. Put on some Carmax. Put my tennis shoes on. I'm out the door. Today I made it 5,141 steps and 2.50 miles. It's the next day you guys and I am so proud of myself because today I did way more jogging and I got 6,480 steps and I went a distance of 3.25 miles. It's the minor accomplishments guys. Much better than yesterday because yesterday I think I was 4,200 steps and I'm not sure how many miles but...
definitely better than yesterday y'all i feel good i'm all sweaty though i'm about to go ahead and hop in the shower the entire time i was jogging and walking i did a jog walk jog walk jog walk because i gotta catch my breath okay i can't just keep going the entire time i just kept smelling the perfume that i sprayed earlier oh my gosh i love it i love clinique happy it's so clean it's so fresh it's citrusy but not like the cheap citrus and that dang dossier is spot on it smells so good and it's just as strong your girl smells so good but it don't matter because I'm still about to go ahead and hop in the shower and clean my body down. I'm all sweaty and sticky. You know what, though? I say that a lot. You know what? You know what? You know what? No, but I'm going to go ahead and use these new coconut products I just bought at Ulta. I had some points on my Ulta account and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get these because I really want these. I got a body wash and a body lotion and they smell so good, you guys. I couldn't pass them up. So I'm going to go ahead and wash up with my new Soap and Glory Magnifi Cocoa body wash and then moisturize with my Magnifi Cocoa body lotion. But girl, this is so embarrassing. Let me tell y'all something. This is so embarrassing. I'm so upset about it. I have to go back to Ulta and return it. But I bought another St. Bart's body scrub. I thought I didn't have it. I don't know. For some reason, I was like, I don't have this. Girl, yes, the heck you do. I went in my closet the other day and I was like, no, please don't tell me. Please don't tell me because I just spent $40 on a whole nother one. This is the St. Bart's Way body scrub. I don't know why I thought I didn't have it. So I bought a whole nother one and I got to go ahead and return it. I don't even have the receipt. So I'm going to have to do like an in-store credit thing. That is so annoying. Girl, I'm done buying products at this point. I'm, I'm just done. Probably already have it. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get all cleaned up, y'all. Gotta take the fake jewelry off. <laughs> also, I know I said I was gonna wash my hair today. I said yesterday I was gonna wash it tomorrow, but it can hold off one more day. So I'm gonna wash it tomorrow. These are the fragrances I'm going to go ahead and wear today. I'm going to wear Rio Radiance by Sol de Janeiro. That is like a creamy coconut. It is so pretty, you guys. And then on top of that, I'm going to go ahead and spray Aquatic Coconut by Dossier. This is the same exact thing as Replica Beach Walk. When I tell y'all, these two mix together so beautifully. You have to try them.
for my outfit today, I just threw on some sweatpants I got at Hollister a couple years ago. Once again, buy things that fit your body well because I love how these sweatpants fit my legs. And I just have on this cheap little shirt I had bought at Air Paso a couple years ago as well. It's tight, but it's actually cute. I was like, I think this is gonna be too small, but it's actually cute with these sweatpants. So that's what I'm wearing today. I'm gonna go ahead and try to leave my hair down today. The only part I'm worried about is of course, like the ends where it's still a little light, only because it is still dry. So it might get frizzy, but I just um, put some of my hair grow grease on my ends and kind of like throughout my hair. Just just to go ahead and like moisturize it and make sure it's not going to get frizzy. Okay, let's go add these fragrances to my collection. This is my full dossier collection. If you want to know every single fragrance I have in this collection, go ahead and click the link down below. I recently did a perfume collection and I shared with you guys every single fragrance I own. And I also told you guys like what these fragrances smell exactly alike or like. Girl, I am so excited. So this is a collab with dossier. Thank you so much dossier for the opportunity. Y'all know I love y'all. They don't cut no type of corners with their fragrances and y'all know i am a fragrance junkie i know all about my fragrances i know some smell cheap if some ain't lasting dossier like i said they don't cut any corners so we have six new fragrances today to go ahead and add to my collection or honestly not the full six because i wanted to go ahead and jazz it up since i know i have some guys that watch me and i know that my girls out here they have their boyfriends their fiancés their husbands you may have a son you may have a best friend that's a guy so i wanted to go ahead and see if this new dossier fragrance smells like sauvage by what is it by dior okay so i'm not the biggest fan of cologne like don't get me wrong certain colognes are really nice but majority of colognes i'm not really into they make your girl head hurt they make me feel sick like i just do not like how a lot of colognes smell but recently Jordan tried out a Sauvage by Dior cologne sample and when I tell you guys that is one of my favorite fragrances I have ever smelled on him. And I've seen that Dossier dropped their version of Sauvage. So it is called Aromatic Star Anise or Anise. Jordan has already wore it and when I tell you guys this smells exactly like Sauvage by Dior. Now this stuff is strong. I'm not gonna lie. This junk is concentrated. You don't need too much of this. And I am obsessed with how it smells on Jordan. Y'all know I love Juliet Has a Gun. But they have a vanilla vibes perfume. And I really like how it smells. Dossier came out with their version. Their version is called Aquatic Vanilla. And this is so beautiful. This is a good base. This isn't like a fragrance I would wear by itself. This is a base I would wear for like my vanilla vibes kind of day. This stuff smells so beautiful. If you like vanilla, I definitely suggest this aquatic vanilla. Or if you like Juliet has a gun vanilla vibes, you want to get that fragrance. New fragrance added to my collection. Okay. Now this one I already wore today. This is the Clinique Happy. They call it Fruity Orange. It is literally Clinique Happy. Now listen, since I already have one, I'm going to go ahead and gift this one to my mom. My mom is literally obsessed with Clinique Happy, but she doesn't have a bottle right now. So I'm going to go ahead and give her this fruity orange. And it's so funny because this morning she was like, oh, girl, you smell so good. So I'm like, you know what? It's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and give it to her because I still have a whole bottle. I remember when My Way came out. It is a fragrance by Giorgio Armani. And when I tell you guys, it is such a sweet, musky fragrance. It's very pretty. Dossier came out with their version. They have came out with so many new fragrances. It's like every single time I look on their website, they've got new fragrances. They even have their own collection now. So their version of My Way by Giorgio Armani, I no longer have a bottle, so it's actually perfect, is fruity. Ooh, what is in my nail? I've been showing y'all my nails and there's something in there. It's my eyebrow pomade. Okay. Fruity Neroli. And I love their packaging. I love their magnetic caps. Ooh. Okay. It's even like a little peachy. Or am I smelling strawberry? Because the top notes are bergamot, neroli, black currant, and strawberry. This is such a beautiful fragrance. It's so girly, so feminine, and this is an all year round fragrance. So beautiful. So more to my collection. Next we have ambery vanilla, and this is the exact 
exact same thing as YSL black opium. Girl, everybody knows about black opium, but it's very pricey. So if you love black opium, but you want to be YSL bougie on a budget, <laughs> girl, they have ambery vanilla, which is black opium. Literally spot on. My mom is obsessed with black opium. I even gave her my bottle because she's so obsessed with it. And I was like, you know what? One thing my mom taught me was that if somebody wants something more than you, give it to them. If they're going to enjoy it more than you, if they're going to use it more than you just give it to them and she has ran out of all her black opium so i'm gonna go ahead and give this one to her she's gonna be so excited because when i tell y'all these fragrances are spot on it's like literally what's the point of buying expensive perfumes when dossier is coming out with the exact same fragrances for a fraction of the price and last but not least as we all know yesterday i wore my woody raspberry and we already talked about this one. Oh my gosh y'all i smell so beautiful all day these fragrances last that is a very big thing with me and fragrance like if you don't last you can smell good all you want but if you don't last i don't really like you that much because it's the longevity of a perfume i'm looking for i'm looking to smell like this fragrance all day and you will with dossier fragrances dossier fragrances are all around perfect from their packaging to the actual fragrance to their variety like girl get hip to dossier thank you so much dossier for sending me out these fragrances i love you guys so much literally you guys have changed the fragrance world and made it so possible for us to smell amazing and stick to our budget because girl we got bills to pay now i'm gonna go ahead and go give these to my mom real fast i'll be right back and jordan you making some food i'm trying yo he making some turkey bacon you gonna make me some eggs you want some eggs too don't you usually make yours with olive oil? I don't even know where it's at. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Here, you just take that little black cap off, and that's the oil. Also, my mom was so excited about her new fragrances. She has no Clinique Happy, and she just ran out of her black opium. They're going to be like, you got the same clothes on from yesterday? Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say, ain't nobody worried about it, mom? Oh, <laughs> How you being good and like is being bad today? You gotta be good. You look really cute. I love seeing you in sweats, and that's a really nice black shirt, actually. You've never seen me in this shirt? Yeah, no. I bought this so many years ago at Aeropostale, and it fits cute. Like my hair? It fits really nicely. Yeah, it's getting long. Look at all that. Yeah, but I still have like damage down here. So, as it grows, I'm still cutting. Dang, boy! Wait a minute, boy, you're making a mess. You oh, you got the heat on high, you can't do that. I think you need to back up so it don't be popping on you too. So you all up on it. Don't tell me to back up. In my ring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oops, sorry, yeah, Sissy. Sorry, Sissy. Mm -hmm. Well, why is it cracking and popping like that? Ew, you stinking. You is crazy. Didn't Essence's breath used to stink when she was a puppy? Used like when she was really bad. little? Used to stink very bad. It used to like gross fish. Yeah. Now her no. breath don't stink. Not at all. I wonder what happened with that. Girl, I don't know. Uh -huh. They're always trying. You got your own bacon. Hold on. That's the best turkey bacon I ever had. I like how you make it. Thank you. Essence. Lock it. Oh, come on, my soul. Oh, don't you get shy on me, lift up your song. Cause you've got a lion inside of those lungs. Get up there and praise the Lord. May his favor be upon you in a thousand generations. And your family and your children and their children. And their children may his presence go before you and behind you and beside you all around you and within you he is with you he is with you Fighting for 
powers, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom that cannot be shaken. In the name of Jesus, enemies defeated. And we will shout it out, shout it out. God is fighting for you, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom that cannot be shaken. In the name of Jesus, enemies defeated. And we will shout it out, shout it out. I am in the middle of making monkey bread and for some reason I forgot to grab like actual sugar and not just brown sugar because the recipe calls for cinnamon sugar and brown sugar but i only have brown sugar so i'm hoping that it turns out good but i'm just making the monkey bread with biscuits i just cut them up like in four each like little biscuit patty and those are the monkey bread bites oops that one stuck together we gotta go ahead and get that coated all of these little biscuit pieces are just covered in cinnamon and brown sugar over here i have butter brown sugar and cinnamon all mixed together and that is going to be like the sauce for the monkey bread so right now i'm just laying all of these little pieces down in the uh pan i don't really have or the baking dish i don't have the pineapple upside down cake dish so i'm just gonna make it just like this which is crazy because the other day i was at the store and i was like i should buy one of those for when i make monkey bread but i just didn't so it's not gonna be upside down but it'll still be good and then i'm gonna add the sauce on top and then do another layer I'm gonna try to mix it around some more just to make sure it's fully coated. I cannot wait. I'm just mad I ain't got no sugar. I don't know why I didn't grab sugar. I promise you're probably not even gonna be able to taste it. difference. Well, the sugar makes it like super sweet. I don't think brown sugar is as sweet as like regular granulated sugar. You know? Look how yummy. All right, so this is gonna go in the oven for 30 minutes and then it'll be ready to eat. Y'all, my baby done made some breakfast. Girl, I ain't even have to make no breakfast. Yes, sir. I had him crisp on the turkey bacon because it is so good that way. I like everything crispy. Like you can call it burnt, but I just love it. He kind of did his thing. I could get used to this. Mm-hmm. I can get used to this. Oh yeah, and then I had accidentally started washing my hands with them fake rings on and I was like oh my gosh no my fake rings I'm used to being able to wash my hands and my jewelry get in the shower and my jewelry but as of lately I've been testing out like the the fake jewelry like even my my necklace I had accidentally gotten the shower with it the other day thank the lord it's gold plated because it didn't change colors they say it's waterproof but I ain't about to be showering in this junk and just swimming and junk and I ain't taking a chance okay I have before and it didn't work out but um I instantly thought about this post I had seen one time and the girl was saying the difference between me and you is I can shower in my jewelry and you can't something like that something along the lines and now that I look back I'm like that was kind of stupid because I'm pretty sure you're trying to say that you have more money so you can afford real jewelry when in reality there are so many people out here wealthy people wearing fake jewelry riding in regular cars wearing regular clothes you can't even tell they got it but they got it Girl, when I go into these little rich neighborhoods, driving through, what I notice is that these people have million dollar houses and regular vehicles. Nice cars, expensive jewelry, expensive clothing. It don't really tell a lot about your financial status. It really doesn't because there are rich people out here rocking regular clothes. And it's also people out here that they don't even got it like that, but they will spend a last dime to look rich. Don't worry about all that, sis. I'm being for real. Like, girl, I don't care what kind of clothes you rocking, what car you driving. That ain't saying nothing. You're not less than. You are messing around. How that look? That kind of. I was about to say it kind of fits, but no, it ain't big enough. Oh my gosh! Take yeah. that junk off. I'm about to play with you. Girl. Why are your fingers so shiny? What you mean? You got them old folks' hands. <laughs> <laughs> so now the monkey bread has six minutes on it. Also, smell my skin. I use this new lotion I just bought. I like that. It's very beautiful. Yeah. It's this. Remember, I went to Ulta and bought this. Mm-hmm. It's Magnifico Cocoa Lotion. That smells so good. The body wash does too. 
And they work so amazing. I love them. You use the body wash already? Yeah. My encouragement of the day is no matter how many times you fall, get back up and try again. Because this time might be the time. And if not, get back up and try again. Get back up and try again. You can never try too much. So that will be my tip of the day, my encouragement of the day. No matter how many times you fall, no matter how many times you fail, you actually truly don't fail if you keep trying. If y'all can't tell, I'm feeling super confident. Oh my gosh, I feel so amazing. I feel so happy that my hair is growing and it looks so pretty. My skin is progressing or it has progressed so much. It is such an amazing feeling to feel confident in your natural self. All right, see you later, bro. I say, have a good day at work. Don't you need this lunchbox or no? Huh? Don't you need the lunchbox? Oh my God, I got a lunchbox. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're welcome. I'm hungry, y'all. Oh, great. Well, you got a car now, so. Yeah, I got a <laughs> He's so responsible, y'all. He gets his butt to work every single day. He wakes up every single day and gets his lunch all prepared, fresh every single day. He got, he bought his very first car and he turns 19 tomorrow. He is working towards his boxing career every single day. He's a very responsible kid. Lord Jesus, watch over him today, hoping to have an amazing day, go before him, prepare the hearts of the people that he is going to encounter. Cover him with your holy blood and your holy angels and lightning her, how many to come near him. Um, a guy who's driving his eyes, his hands, protect him at all times to protect his vehicle. Don't let him get in a car accident on anybody or anybody with him. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. But you know what? I'm, I'm sure I could flip this over, Jordan. I could flip this over. Master. Jordan! Hey. Oh, wow. That looks beautiful. Yeah, really good. Oh, wow. That looks awesome. I'm like, I ain't trying to waste no butter. Golly, I didn't waste all this butter. The butter flew everywhere, you guys. It's all in the stove. I gotta clean that up. Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. I hope it doesn't have to go in for longer. Look at that. It seems a little gooey. It's supposed to be. I don't know. Yeah, it's supposed to be. I don't know about that gooey. I think it needs to go in for longer. Uh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in there for longer. Sucks I gotta put it in with the pan now. I could've just left it in the dang thing. 10 minute timer. I'm gonna do 10 minutes. It's so beautiful outside. I need to put the patio furniture out there. Why is it wet in there? Oh. Let's see. Oh, it's looking done. Jesus. Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, you silence fear. Oh, Jesus, protect my girls. Cover them with your holy blood, Lord Jesus. Thank you for waking them up this morning. Guide their minds and help them each and every day. Let your Holy Spirit dwell within their bodies. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And pray for my girls. I love them. You're in love. You're in love. That's my pretty girl. That's my smart girl. I know. I know. Okay, y'all. So it's a little while later. As you guys can tell, the monkey bread has been dug into. I set some aside for Brant. I took some. Jordan had some. My mom had some. And this is what is left, you guys. It is so delicious. Personally, I like the crispy parts and I dip those in milk. It's really good. Girl, that monkey bread was gone by the end of the day. Like everybody loved it. It was a hit. And don't mind me y'all, last night was Brent's birthday so I didn't even get to my hair. Like I just told you I had to do my hair every single night. Yeah girl, get the heck out of here. No, but the monkey bread was completely gone by the end of the day. It was so delicious. But next time, I'm not gonna put it in as long because I didn't record that I put it in another 10 minutes. And I think that kind of overdid it. It wasn't burnt. The darker parts you guys are seeing is like the caramelized, like brown sugar and stuff. I liked it and I dipped it in milk. It was really good, but still it was a tiny bit dry. So next time I'm not going to put it in that dang long. I'm going to wait to flip it first of all, because the butter was still liquidy. And then I'm going to let it sit so that I can see what the dough is looking like after it sits. Because you know, when it's fresh out, it still looks extremely good. It still looks extremely gooey. Yeah, girl. 
trial and error, but next time it's gonna be perfect. But I am getting a little hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead, don't mind my nail, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and warm up this Healthy Choice grilled chicken pesto with vegetable meal. I love these warm up meals, you guys. I add a little bit of seasoning, and girl, they taste like a home cooked meal. What am I gonna season it with? Pepper, lemon, pepper, accent, and a little bit of onion powder because I'm addicted to onion powder. In four, four, three, two, one. Oh, that is hot. Come on, lemon pepper, why are you not coming out? Little bit of onion powder and accent. Girl, I got too hot outside. I brought the rest of my meal upstairs because, girl, I was like, why am I eating a hot meal and it's hot outside? This is just too much for me. I'm going to go ahead and start getting some other things done that are not even camera worthy. So it's time for your girl to go ahead and head up out of here. I've been doing peace signs a lot more. I don't even know why. Like, why am I doing this all the time? All the time. But like I said, it's time for your girl to go ahead and head up out of here. I think I'm going to start doing my vlogs in like a two-day span from now on. Because I feel like I can get more footage, better footage, and it's just like all around better. I don't know. I might have to start doing this, y'all. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. God bless every single one of you guys in Jesus' mighty name. And it's time for your girl to go.